Even tear gas didn't work, but finally, after more than eight hours, a standoff in Westwood came to an end, and a man who allegedly threatened to blow up the White House was taken into custody. Good evening. I'm Mark Brown. I'm Michelle Tuzzi. Eyewitness News reporter Robert Olguin is live in Westwood with the dramatic end to that long standoff. Robert? Michelle, this is the corner where Joseph Moshe parked his car, and this is where that standoff dragged on for most of the day. Buildings were on lockdown, traffic was diverted, and when it was all over, the 56-year-old man with reported mental problems had to be dragged out of his car after several attempts to get him out simply didn't work. The man driving this red Volkswagen Beetle had refused to pull over for police. And so a short chase that started at about 10 o'clock this morning came to an end on Veteran Avenue, a few hundred feet from the federal building. A standoff with police soon followed. Obviously, we didn't know if the, the vehicle was safe enough to approach. The driver who refused to leave his car has been identified as 56-year-old Joseph Moshe of Los Angeles, a man who this week reportedly made threats against the White House. He, he is an individual that, that uh, uh, has uh, some mental problems and that uh, he's had contact with uh, law enforcement uh, agencies in the past. After four attempts to force Moshe out of his car by using tear gas, police decided to take a different tack. They smashed out the driver's side window and fired a taser. Once immobilized, Moshe was dragged out of his car. He sustained some minor abrasions because of the broken glass, uh, but he is in custody and he is being treated. The federal building had been on lockdown since noon. Employees were trapped inside until the prolonged standoff was over. It wasn't until 8 o'clock that the car was finally towed away and things returned to normal in front of the federal building. Back at Moshe's house in Westchester, neighbors described him as a quiet man who keeps to himself. Usually when he's off his meds, that's when he starts acting up. But he's usually quiet. Never, never everything ever happens. Moshe was being treated at UCLA Medical Center, and police say he was not armed, but he likely faces several felony charges, including resisting arrest and reckless driving. Reporting live from Westwood, Robert Olguin, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Robert, thank you.